Hello everybody, and this video is a chess video. Um, I'm kind of new at chess, so don't ask why I'm actually garbage at this, but this was against one of my friends who is on a Discord server, and we were playing chess. Now, um... Yeah, I'm not really good at this, so most of my moves are basically just moves that he either couldn't get me at, or it would be very, um, stupid to get me there. So, that's basically it. Um, I do move my, uh, knight to e4, and I'm moving my pawn to h5 for reasons, um... Like I said, it's all basically luck based on where you go. Uh, I wanted to bait that queen a little, but I really didn't know how, so I just had to go there. But that was dumb because he could take that with no repercussions whatsoever, but he didn't want to for some reason. But also, if you look over at where the resign and draw button is at the top, you can see where all the moves are. Um. Also, next to it will be little bars that tells you your accuracy. The higher the number, the better of a, of a play you did there. So, it's kind of nice to have that there, just so you know if your play was good or not. So, yeah. I'm trying to basically bait this queen into coming and taking it out. Which doesn't really work at this time, because it's the beginning of the game. And all that. So, I don't take his pawn there because that would have been stupid. Because we were just taking that pawn anyway. Yeah, I. This, this game was not a very bright game, but I do end up, I think, going for the. No, I don't go for the night. Okay. I'm watching this back like a week later. So, I have no idea what any of my moves are, but all I know is that I'm better at chess now, and you can expect more chess videos in the future, hopefully. Which is nice, that's amazing. Uh, chess videos are really nice. Um, especially in my opinion, because I just like the sport of chess a lot. So, that's, that's how gamers work. It's the competitive sport of gaming. But I do move my pawn over to a5. He moves his pawn over to b4 on his side. So I go with my... I, I guess I go with some thing because I want to get his piece, but... I eventually go d6, is it? d6. He ends up going a5. I take out his knight with my knight to trade, and then I do my rook. Just to balance that out and take another extra piece. I can take his knight with my rook, and that can put his bishop to where he can take that, which he does, which is the smart move to do. End up moving some piece. I move my pawn to d5 for some extra leverage on that pawn, but I think he can still on facade me there, which he sure he can if he wants to take up one of my pawns. But and so we are back. Um, welcome back, everyone. To this, I end up moving my bishop over to d7, because that's what gamers do. Um, just to block his queen from getting that easy check, since he really can't, because I would be able to move anywhere else, and he wouldn't be able to get an easy check. But he ends up moving there, where I have no defenses whatsoever. Um, I really can't do anything. I end up moving my rook there, because I think that's a good position. Which it's not. For there, because he can keep there, he can chill and grow there, basically. Yeah, as you can see, 
um, on the, you know, thing I told you guys about, that, uh, bar. You can see all the plays I'm doing. I realize that this play was actually bad, because I could have bait, I could have bait the queen, because I could have moved my pawn up, which would have saved me a rook. So, that was my bad in that, um, point. Which, not really something that you, uh, want, want to say when you're playing chess. Um... Cause it's not really, it's not really a nice thing to uh, just pop that out playing chess. Um, I end up moving my bishop over to g4 to try and get some um that checkmate on that king, but he ends up moving his pawn and I have to move back because I don't want to risk losing my bishop. I take the pawn with my bishop because then that will lead to some opportunities that I could use to my advantage. But most of all, it's just because having it in more pieces could grant you a win, but it's not really likely. I should have just, I could take his bishop there, which I think I do. Because it's a free, it's a free bishop there. I should have taken the bishop, because that would have been a free bishop, and there was no way he could have taken me there. He didn't see it. And, well, I end up not going for the free bishop. Which, I could go take the bishop with my queen and then put him in check, but for some reason I don't, which is really odd, because I could have, I could have said, hey, I'm right here, let's go, but then I realized, oh wait, the queen's there, that's why I didn't move, I'm dumb dumb, but still, I could have taken out the, see, he goes down there, um, which, if I didn't take out the bishop earlier, or if I took it out earlier, that wouldn't have happened, I would have lost that piece, I don't even remember what piece I lost, but, um, yeah, so, this is turning into a very interesting, uh, round, so, I will come back in the final round of it, where it's sudden death, basically, any move is a very good one. Oh my god. You didn't see it. How did you not see that?
to do. Oh my god. I put my cool music right there. I don't want to put my hate thing there. Okay, he needs to move his thing over to this thing and take mine and then I'll take it. It's still not really good. Wait, no, that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully the audio was a little bit crisper, if you couldn't hear me earlier. It's now sudden death. Every move basically counts at this point. You're going for every single possible move that you can. That will hopefully result in you getting a check. Or a checkmate, if you're lucky. Um, I'm not stupid, so I don't go for the queen there. I try to go for a second queen. Um, which isn't very, uh, poggers of me to do. And it ends up with me, you know, not going for, I go for the pawn, actually, which I realize is a colossal mistake, as he is able to checkmate me, which I believe is the checkmate, I believe he checks me, me here, yeah, he checkmate me. It sucks, but it's what life does, and yeah, hope 